Ready? All right. Yeah. We're doing an exam on a river otter. We're anesthetizing him, doing a full physical, and getting some diagnostics done on him. We have Oakley, our four-year-old, non-releasable rehab American otter, and he's joined with his daughter, Winnie. They're very feisty. They always get pretty loud when food is coming. I think he's just more concerned right now, like, that he hasn't been fed yet, but he also doesn't like that fish for some reason. We're hoping she's going to run right in. You're going to close the guillotine door. So the otter kept us on our toes today. Hi, Winnie. Come here. We had a plan, and they, they had a different plan. Looks like a lot of nothing. OK. It's all right. We're going to win. So we're going to carry this very live needle and syringe situation down to the door. Game of patience. Case. Yep, there you go. Shove it. All right. I already had a backup plan just in case he was going to do that, which we anticipated he might. What we're doing is we're working with uh, veterinary students who are in their final year of the curriculum. Take a breath. It's OK. And they are getting to apply their skills as veterinarians to these species. Shake All right, it's 40. Yeah. If someone can keep his shoulder propped this way. Yep, there you go. They're coming up with anesthesia plans. They're coming up with physical exam guidelines. is you can go straight down. But also, what vaccines do we give? What kind of preventatives do they need to be on? So that's all on the students. And really, my job is just to help support them while they make those journeys. Good job. Nice stick. Thank you. In the end, we were able to do an exam on one of the two otters, and that was a very successful exam. We were able to get a lot of good information from him and make sure he's healthy. After the procedure, he's standing up, recovered nicely, and wanting his food. His daughter, on the other hand, will come back for her another day. Um, it's crazy fun. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy fun. This is a, uh, an 1,800-acre facility where people can come and enjoy and experience nature and see the native animals tended to be here. To me, the wildlife park is different than a zoo in that our enclosures are much larger and they're the natural species and landscape. Yeah, we think this is a great facility and doing some really good work, particularly on the, the rehab side. And we're thrilled that University of Illinois uh, vets are here working with our animals. So the University of Illinois College of Veterinary Medicine is one of the programs that is actually integrating zoo medicine much more so than some of the other facilities that are out there. We have the Wildlife Medical Clinic that allows veterinary students to be involved from day one of their curricula, should they elect to, with native wildlife from across the state. For students, it's a fantastic opportunity. You get hands on a lot of species. All right. Before we had the vet exams, we were very um, reactive to things. So if an animal wasn't feeling well, wasn't behaving normal, we were calling basically an, an emergency vet at the time because we didn't know what was happening and we didn't even have a baseline to go off of. We've com completely changed many of our park procedures in their animal care, just has raised the level of their standard of living and their overall health in a major way. So we're used to wildlife being unpredictable but captive wildlife is even a whole new element. They're semi-used to people, so we think that they're going to be easier, and then they're just like, no, not today. I'm going to hurry up with my exam. It's awesome that everyone has a job, so it kind of helps keep things organized and good. helps us be more efficient. Everyone knows what their task is, and we can kind of move through those things. What was their time? 1027. I don't know, I, I, I guess I like to be able to help these creatures because they're not able to help themselves. Nice to be able to provide that care and really help the animals when they're in their time of need. Molly is, is really inquisitive, but she definitely has the personality where she either likes somebody or doesn't like somebody. And if she doesn't like you, she definitely lets you know. When we're working with these animals, it's important that we're always keeping in mind human safety as well as the animal safety. I got her head. You guys can get her body. One of the reasons that we do anesthetize these animals is because it's safer for them, but it's also safer for us. Exits, do you recognize where they are? Because if this bear wakes up, you need to run to them. All of those things that have been thrown at these students, they have overcame it. They knew exactly what they needed to do. They worked as a team. It's really a great experience, and it's something that I don't think I'd be able to do outside of you know, outside of Wildlife Prayer Park and outside of the U of I vet school. A fantastic um, example of why we have this partnership at all. <laughs> it's one of those jobs that you literally, there is not a not fun part. Like it's, it's the ones that everyone says, that's so cool. And I have to say, it is that cool. We did a fantastic job and I'm so proud of our whole team. 